It's the Betty and Barney Hill story. So it was the first ever recorded contact with the Greys. It, they were an American couple who claimed to be abducted by extraterrestrials in a rural portion of state of New Hampshire from September 19 to 20, 1961, that they had to come out because they found their lives too distressing and too intense to not talk about the events that day. Without looking as if it had turned, the craft rapidly descended in her direction which caused her to realize this object was a plane, but was not a plane. The huge silent craft hovering about 80 to 100 feet above the hills, 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air and filled the entire field in the windshield. As Barney claimed to have seen eight, 11, sorry, 11 humanoid figures. Oh my God. Who were peering out of the craft's windows, seemingly look at him in unison. All but one figure moved to what appeared to be the panel on the rear hall of the hallway that encircled the front portion of the craft. The one remaining figure continued to look at Barney and communicated a message telling him to stay where he was and keep looking. This is terrifying. He tore the binoculars away from his eyes and ran back to his car. In a hysterical state, he told Betty, they're going to capture us. He drove away as fast as he could, telling Betty to look for the object. She rolled down the window, looked up almost immediately The hills hear a rhythmic series of beeping and buzzing sounds to which they seem to bounce off the truck of their vehicles. The car vibrated and a tingling sensation passed through the hill's bodies. The hill said that they experienced an onset of altered state of consciousness that left their minds dulled. The second series of beeping and buzzy sounds returned the couple to full consciousness. They found that they had traveled nearly 50, 30, sorry, 35 miles, 56 kilometers south. After seven days later, they were perplexed. The Hills say they tried to reconstruct the chronology of the events they witnessed, the UFO, and drove home. On March 3rd, 1963, this is three years, two years later, the Hills first publicly disclosed the UFO encounter with the group at their church. St- Stevens referred to the Hills to Benjamin Simon in Boston, who was a more professional hypnosis therapist. Mm-hmm. He hypnotized Betty and Barney several times, each in their own sessions, so they could not come up with the same story. He eventually sighted six men standing in the dirt road. The car stalled and three of the men approached the car. They called Barney not to fear him. So they told him he was still very anxious, however, and he reported that the leader told Barney to close his eyes. And while hypnotized, Barney said, man, this is so freaky. My goosebumps are huge right now. He said, I feel like the eyes had pushed into my eyes. Wow. Oh my God. That is terrible. Uh, Bro. You realize the shit out of my face. Totally. Okay, so now I want to tell you what this reminded me of. So I read a 